Since we have already had a detailed look at the collaboration space in the OneNote class notebook, we are now going to turn our attention to the content library and the student notebooks. However, if you would like to know how to use the collaboration space and learn some useful tips about using this section of a class notebook, please click on the suggested video at the top of the screen. Before we start looking at the content library, make sure you stay until the end of the video for a top tip when using this section with a class. The content library is a section which is read-only to students. This means the students cannot edit the resources you have placed in there. However, as a teacher, you have the ability to edit them yourself. Therefore, the content library acts a lot like a filing cabinet. The students can see the resources you have posted there, so make sure you do not have assessments like tests or mark schemes stored here unless you want them to be available to the students. You are able to make subsections, add pages and subpages to the content library. To learn how you do this, watch the suggested video at the top of the screen. Now let's focus on how a student can use the content library. First click on the students as class notebook. When you created the class notebook, you had the option to add or remove sections from each student's notebook. This student will see all the folders you had automatically added into their notebook. Although you can see inside the first student's notebook, the other students in the class will not be able to see their work. For example, student 2 will not be able to see student 1's folders, and vice versa. The students can only see their own notebook and the content and the collaboration space sections. This is great for giving private feedback to students. Each student is able to edit and manage their own class notebook from changing the colours of each folder to adding more sections or pages, often by clicking on the resources in the content library. The class notebook is a great tool for students to customise their workspace as they wish. Before you start placing resources into the content library, I would recommend you think carefully about which sections you will add and how you will structure these pages and sub-pages. Spending a moment to think this through will save you from having to restructure your folders later. Also, make sure you give students clear instructions on when and where they should copy resources to their notebook. This will make sure students learn how to keep their notebooks organised. Once you have a system that works, you can then copy it for your other classes. To enhance your teaching and learning further, click on one of the suggested videos and don't forget to subscribe to the Teach Me channel.